check it out. You know it's gonna be a great video when we got some stickers stacked up, both hand drawns and a bunch of custom printed stuff. So by the title, I hope you can tell I'm revitalizing the sticker submission series. A couple years back, I would release monthly videos showing off stickers that I received in from anybody from around the world. And I would show them off and then send them around in other packs and whatnot. So not only after all these requests am I bringing the series back, I've updated it a little bit to also get you guys a little bit more of a trade service so you can actually get some stickers in return. So let's dive into these stickers and I can talk about the process a little bit more. So in the past, Sticker Submissions has offered an opportunity for any artist to actually send in their stickers and I'll feature them in the monthly video. So this going in, you can have, you know, even featured stickers of some tributes to myself, but really anything hand-drawn, anything really art-related, it doesn't even end up having to be a sticker. That's just a good baseline to show off, you know, the good category that most of the stuff is going to fall into. These stickers are actually left over from the last video I was making. So they're probably about two years old. I saved them as I didn't end up making the very concluding video to that series. I had not a lot of submissions that previous month, so I was figuring I was going to you know, take your time off of the series, as I did, and I ended up saving that last bit of pack to hopefully work into this little revitalization video. So my biggest suggestion with sending in a pack for the video is always you know, include a little note with your Instagram or your handle there so people can actually then follow you. I'll do my best as always to put the links in the description of the video, but having that little key card or end of the sticker that I can actually reference is always easy to kind of transfer that over and make sure everybody can check your stuff out after seeing it in the sticker video. So some of the bonus stuff I'm going to be including that's a little bit different than last time, I'll also be sending out stickers if you're interested. So the main method of this is going to be actually sending an envelope that's already addressed and stamped to yourself inside of your sticker pack. That'll allow me to actually then just pack it up with some other stickers that I'm fumbling through that day and send it right back out to you. Now my original hesitation to not actually sending these back out was that it was a lot of kind of work and due diligence to keep up with addresses and actually get everybody's stuff and information in and then you know covering the shipping cost on top of that. So if you're willing to cover the shipping cost I'll definitely pack that sticker pack as much as I can for whatever weight you do uh, prepay and that way you can get a range of stickers and blanks for the featured artists of that month. I think this is a cool way to actually show off your own work but also receive some other people's in return as a nice little trade. And as you can already see, the range of style and content of these packs differs quite drastically. So you're really going to be able to get a mix of artists in your whole pack each and every time. Now I'll actually have the address that you can send these stickers to in the description of the video. I'm not going to engulf it in the video just because in the event that you know my P.O. Box updates or whatever, I want this to actually stand freely for the time being. So check down there if you want to send stuff in for May's sticker submission video. I'll normally just do it at the end of the month and seemingly that this is going up you know, halfway in between the month. It'll give you some more time to get some really sweet submissions in for the first month. And now that being said, if you are an international artist to the United States, sending a self-addressed stamp envelope probably is not going to cover all the custom fees and whatnot. So I'm going to have some options every month on my website that will allow people to actually purchase packs through international means. So that way you can send, you know, five bucks over and that'll cover the shipping cost rather than having to send, you know, international money or international postage. That way you can totally cover it on my end and it leaves you up to a little bit less hassle that you don't have to pack extra things in the top of the sticker pack, making it extra heavy and then also, you know, holding you back from sending it in the first place. So I'll have more information exactly on that in the description of the video. So that means I'll open the packs up to five or so people on my web store. And anybody that can confirm they send stuff in, I'll also open it up to you guys. Keep that in mind, there's only so many stickers to go around, so don't put $40 of posters on that and expect me to be able to fill a big box of stickers. You know, reasonably keep everything to an envelope size, as I'll show and describe in a little bit. If you do send a larger envelope though, posters are nice and light, so I can send some of those bigger size stuff that I don't have to fold nearly as much inside the pack. Like I mentioned earlier, we've got a little note here from Slap Someone. We got his little Instagram and his YouTube here, so you can check him out, and I'll have that linked in the description. That way it's easy to see who the next 10 or so stickers are coming from, so you can also do that follow-up like I mentioned. I had a lot of fun putting this original series together and you know just going through and seeing a ton of new art that you know I can't even keep up with online. So it's also awesome to find out and follow all these new artists. So even if you aren't able to get you know a bunch of new stickers in hand or you aren't able to actually submit some in, it's easy to follow out and see what you know kind of artists you might want to trade with and good advertising for your own stuff if you're trying to get your name out there and trade a little bit. 
These next couple stickers are actually from Pacer. He sent me a pack after I actually sent him some stuff from the previous live stream. So I'll check out some of his hand-drawn stuff here. But altogether, no serious limits. Any style of art's welcome, even if you don't want to send it in as stickers like I mentioned. You know, drawings and whatnot are always cool and always appreciated. I'll send those around or I'll also, you know, trade them out to other people. And even good timing there, Pacer sent this photo negative. So it looks like we got some people hiking up on a ridge. Cool if he uh, ended up taking that photo. Nice little addition to the pack. So a big thank you to everybody that's you know waited a couple years to actually get their stickers featured in uh, this next update. But be sure to uh, you know get in on the next one. If your stuff makes it you know just at the end of the month, it might roll over to the following month. But you know it'll always be featured in a video. I'll have that PO box that'll be nice and easy to send to if you're in the U.S. And if you're international, it'll be all the same. Just might cost you a couple more bucks to actually get it to me. But Big thank you to everybody that is willing to send stuff in. It's always fun to go through the art and share it off with a bunch of people. Glad this one didn't sneak off too far to the side. Kind of cool uh, Luigi and Toad sticker. A little baseball guy. So like I mentioned, I want to go through a sample sticker pack, show you what contents I would include, kind of go through the process again once more. So we got the sticker submissions address here. This is fake. They'll find the real one in the description of the video. Obviously put your return address up there. And then inside, see what kind of range of stickers we got. Starting up with the nice big peas. Got some other stickers. So I got some prints in here as well. You know, show some diversity and also get you know, the quantity up there so that we can make sure you know, my stickers might get out to more people. Now I have had people send, you know, 40 or 50 stickers in the past that are all, you know, the same stencil or whatnot. So I might not flip through all of those if you send, you know, a big bulk, but I'll definitely show off the fact that you sent quite a few. Some more prints in here to follow that same theme, but also a mix of hand drawings to show off, you know, different range of stickers and whatnot. More prints to get quantity up. Got some duplicates as well to make sure multiple people can get the same design. Same with uh, this big guy. So here you have a couple last prints and another sample envelope that was cut inside. So in here you'll actually address this one to yourself, leave some stamps up top, so maybe three or four stamps for something this size. Give me some liberty to actually pack some stuff in there and then I'm not too worried about the weight. And then a return address to my P.O. box just in case it gets messed up in the mail and needs to be saved and sent back to me. So all together, I would then uh, take some of this week's stickers, do a mix and match, pack them in there, get this all sent out to you, and then you can receive a mix of a bunch of other people's work. So definitely if you have any questions about the process, leave them in the comment section down below. Prior to next month's video, I'll also release kind of an update reminding people to send stuff in if they want, as well as a formal kind of how-to on the mailing and what you really need to do as far as the packaging goes, just so it's all in a separate video and all laid out for you guys. So purchasing the P.O. Box and revitalizing this was definitely made possible by all the side shell stuff that I've been working on. So these are blank side shell stickers. They're great and super durable. They're the same eggshell material that's going to make your sticker extremely hard to take off a surface. Making it much stronger against the buff and also getting it some crazy patterns much like this hologram. So these are some new mini and micro blanks that I printed alongside this gang run. Had a little bit extra room on some sheets so I decided to utilize it and bring back some little mini stickers. So if you're interested in checking these out head over to my web store sive.bigcartel.com you can check out the whole blanks I've got nice small packs so these are about an inch and a half whereas the bigger ones are about two and a half inches real nice small ones for you know little jams that might not need a huge area for at the end of the day definitely a fun little sticker to try out let's jump into the rest so the first artist we've got here is Nave he got two different designs both three by four inches you can see we've got Nice hefty stacks here, about 110 stickers in each pack, everybody ordered about 100. We've got Nave here with the cat, and also this really sweet playing card design. You can see we've got the halo transcending between both, and also the little N on there. So maybe not necessarily King, but more or less a, a Nave gesture with his uh, spray paint and offset hearts. So two definitely real cool designs. Be sure to check his information out in the description of the video. Slave Cat also went in on both runs. He got 100 3x4 in the white and black print, and then 200 3x4 in the holographic and black ink print. Plenty of stickers to go around there. It's gonna be nice and hefty to ship. But pretty sweet, simple design. Nice little lettering there. And last up for the double up is Enzo. He got the same design in both runs. He went for the 4x6 option, so these are some pretty massive stickers nonetheless. Holographic, and he actually got the kind of double sided design here. So you can use the hair as a beard, or you can use it as a little bit of an afro. 
Real cool stuff. Be sure to also check out his stuff on Instagram. He's really active over there. Now for the more holographic side of things, we got some nice little lion style character here. This was originally kind of a colored design in the middle, but we opted to just do the threshold with a black exterior and kind of the details, and then let the stuff shine in the center. Definitely a nice utilization of the hologram effect. You might recognize Sora Infest from the previous Gang Run update. He got some 3x4 holographics, and this time we went around and did 3x4 black and whites. It actually had a little bit larger size open, so we actually bumped him up a little bit. So these are probably maybe 45 5 inches. Slowly went for a 2x6 sticker, so definitely a nice hefty size. Also was able to bump this up a little bit. He's got the classic graffiti mask on there with his Vans hoodie, and some uh, just basic black thresholding. Real cool stuff. 100 of these as well. Another illustration for the books, we got NTNW. So we got that written across the top and then this character throughout the middle. I was a little nervous about the size of these lines and the overall print. I was afraid it might get a little bit too skinny, but nonetheless it worked out perfect. I got a nice screen positive out of this, so it made for a really, really nice print. Got 18 down on the corner. These all came out super nice. Real clean line work and all these kind of subtle drips and lettering on top I'm definitely a big fan of. Jumping back up to the bigger sizes, we got another 4x6 for Rage. Real sweet letter work. Also on that holographic, it's going to make these pop a ton. I actually cut the contour of a few out and that even made it that much thicker. Also got a reminiscent halo for the other kind of nave designs as well. Another repeat from that first holographic gang run, we've got Check. He went in on 103x4 of the white gang run this time. Same design as before. Definitely a sweet one. Be sure to check his work out, pun intended. Another lettering design here for You Change Too Much. Kind of went for almost a stipply look here. Just kind of give it a little bit of texture off that holographic background. Also in 3x4 inches. 100 stack as well. Spores went for the longer 2x6 inches instead of 3x4. So nice kind of bumper sticker style here with a little bit longer size. Works really nice with lettering. He's got his own font here. Real cool stuff. Nice healthy stack. So another artist that goes by the name of Rage got this kind of jester design. I helped him vector this up. He just had the original illustration. Helped smooth out all those lines to make sure it printed well as well as looked as clean as it could. So a cool illustration here. Nice 4x6 stack as well. And last up we've got Hayes. He actually even has his Instagram handle right here. And he got his little YouTube logo as well. So I can imagine he's going to use these for some advertising and whatnot. And then we got the nice centered printout of the girl. Just noticed I skipped right on over these guys. These remind me so much of just old trading cards with the holographic background and the kind of tight and black and white illustration. Really like this style. Might have to utilize it again myself and take that into consideration when I'm making my next holographic design. But really sweet kind of mushroom style, big text up top, red design. So that does it for all the gang run stuff. And just to recap, if you're interested in sending in any stickers for submissions, be sure to check the description of the video. I'll have it all laid out as well as you know the description of how to send them in, not only the address and all the other goodies down below just to make sure it's all there for you in one place. And if you enjoyed the gang run stuff and want to get in on the next run, I'm going to be doing a black and multicolored ink run. So going to do some neon colored inks. This red and stuff looks a little dark here, so I'm definitely going to be bumping those up, making them more of a neon color. But they're going to be off that black side shell vinyl. So these are going to pop super hard, maybe even throw in some holographic bonus buns in there in the mix. So head over to my web store and check these out if you want to get some custom prints. You're even going to get some you know, multicolored fading in there. So these are definitely going to be sent out to the guys that helped support the last run. And also if you want to check out those mini and micro badges, I only printed 100 sheets with a few of these on each. So you're only going to get a couple packs going around there. And again, thank you for the patience on the artists that had to wait for the next sticker submission video to actually get their old stuff featured. I'm excited to see what everybody throws in for the first formal update in a couple years. If you enjoyed the video, feel free to spray that like button or send it around to some of your artist friends that might want to send some stickers in. And if you don't want to miss that next update or my weekly graffiti videos, be sure to subscribe to the channel as well. Last week I put together a heavy review on some Wally spray paint caps. They're actually a retro spray paint cap that worked tremendously well. So be sure to check that out if you haven't already. That's going to do it for me guys. Peace.